Bro, I've asked so many times, but you didn't see. Why do you prefer Wrath over Retail? Um, Wrath is just a better game. Like, for me, Retail feels way too scripted due to abilities outside of Cool Lands not feeling like they do anything for both sides. And so it almost feels like you're just, like, whacking a guy, he's whacking you, and you're both just waiting for your turn if no one's got their CDs. Somebody pops their CDs, and if you don't pop a defensive, then you just die. So it's a lot about just cooldown matching, and this is not that interesting for me. It's way less adaptive and way less decision-making on the fly is required. I feel like, in, in a way, this makes gameplay slower because everything is predetermined or should be unless they fuck up somehow on the go or you manage to fuck up the go. This is, like, often not worth it because you commit position to try and do it, and if you fail at it, then you open yourself up to a way more potent go from them. So it's like you get maybe, you know... A chance at saving a cooldown if you try to do some outplay stop on the go versus just being safe and doing it and and you know not risking you to just randomly lose the game because you tried to do an outplay like general individual outplay is not really that much of a thing on retail as a result and uh, that kind of sucks resists are definitely a thing that makes wrath worse dispel resists sphere resists that kind of thing sacred cleansing i agree completely that shit if, if Wrath Plus was to be a thing, then all resists should be fucking obliterated from the game. It's not resists that make the game not scripted. It's the abilities actually doing stuff outside of cool lands that make the gameplay non-scripted. There are definitely good things on retail, don't get me wrong. I don't think everything about retail is bad, but I think overall the flow and design of Wrath is superior with the resists. Imagine if there was no resists, how much superior Wrath could be to retail. But this is why... Like, it's so sad to be a retail player because retail is, like, within reach of being a decent game. They just, like, don't have any fucking interest in making it that. Every expansion, it's like, yeah, they could just do these changes and it'd be a great game, and then they just don't do them. Um, and not only don't they do them, but there's, like, obvious bugs and issues with the game that don't even get fixed for, like, months and months on end. Every single fucking expansion, you get issues with, like, PvE trinkets and whatnot just being super gross, and it's just, like... There's, there's a lot wrong with retail. There's a lot less wrong with Wrath. Let's just put it that way. Like, Wrath is, like, 70% of the way there, I reckon. Whereas Retail is, like, fucking 40%, 50% of the way there. They CD-based damage is because of PvE. They design bosses with burst windows, and without strong CDs, they wouldn't work. So this is why I was saying that they should have made... At the end of Original Wrath, they should have split off PvP into, like, a, a separate sort of game or whatever you want to call it a separate game mode i don't know and they should have had like full tournament support spectator client the fucking works fully invest in it because at that point pvp in in where i was like at its peak in terms of viewership um participation everything there was a fuck ton of people pvping at the end of wrath like a fuck ton they basically completely neglected it Throughout the whole of TBC, they pretty much neglected it. And way more, to be honest, way more than the retail is neglected now. But it was still neglected way more than it should have been. So they basically, they didn't split off Wrath into a separate game, right? And by a separate game, I, I mean, essentially, it could have been, at the very, very least, it could have been tournament server support. Because they had tournament servers, right? They ran the, the BlizzCon regionals and whatnot, ladders on tournament servers. And tournament servers were great because you could just go and buy all the PvE gear. And you could still have your, uh, your like different options in terms of gearing depending on comp that kind of thing so it still made it a relevant aspect of the game but you didn't have to go and pve for hours on end to obtain it when all you really wanted to do was queue up arena because let's be honest wrath arena is addictive as fuck they didn't do this at the end of wrath they didn't fucking do it they just again they completely neglected the game they were like nah we're not really interested in pvp twitch was only just a thing uh and streaming was only just a thing they had no foresight in terms of, oh yeah, this is going to be massive. Uh, they didn't really give a shit about esports and they were like, nah, we're just going to keep doing, we're going to stay in our lane. Activision took over and they were like, right, we need to just milk this fucking game for all it's worth. So then Kata came out and let's be honest, it was a big pile of shit. And they didn't do anything to support PvP and Twitch started growing like crazy. And then Blizzard was like, hey, like, how are we not getting any of this fucking, any of this juice, you know, any of this money? People are playing our games. We're not getting anything out of it. We didn't support it. What do? And then they, they like, they declined the fucking guy that made Dota in Warcraft 3. They were like, he was like, yeah, you want to make this into a separate game sort of thing? They basically told him to fuck off. So he made Dota with uh, with Valve. Uh, and some other guys made uh, made Han and some other guys made League or whatever. And then these games were fucking huge. And Blizzard was like, crap, we need to make a MOBA. So they made their shitty MOBA, which was complete flop and dog shit, let's be honest. Just standard Blizzard. Uh, with... 
esports in mind, right? And then it was just they made a game that was supposed to try and be like an esport, but they failed to recognize all of the things that made the original good, made it giga casual friendly. So it just completely flopped. And then it was like crap. Then they did Overwatch, and then Overwatch is like even more designed as a game that's supposed to be an esport. But again, you don't design a game to be an esport. You make a good game, and it becomes an esport, right? Because people love the game and they want to play it and they're competitive. So they completely like did this the wrong way around and then they were like, oh yeah, you need to spend like fucking 10 mil or some shit to join our league to all these teams, which is just like question mark. You're basically signing the death warrant of the game before it even starts because you're making sure that only big orgs can even fucking start getting involved in it. So this was dumb as fuck as well. So it, again, it's just like a sellout, right? For a quick buck. So yeah, going back to the, the WoW thing, then they were like, oh yeah, we'll just keep milking WoW. They didn't fucking do the, what I just said, which is, embrace pvp make a separate pvp game which is what they could have done to break away from the fact that pve is absolutely shackling arena with all of its different mechanics and whatnot like you can't have both like i completely agree with that and it, it makes it over complicated trying to balance for both it's an absolute nightmare so this would have been avoided right by sort of separating it off this is what they needed to do and they could have had full tournament support tournament realm it wouldn't have even needed that much separating right just the way that you know, retail and classic is almost separated, right? And yeah, then they just grow the, the PvP scene from there. They do like regular updates, patches, changes, whatever. They slowly fix the game, improve on the basis of what Wrath was. You know, eventually we would have seen all the resist crap out and, you know, develop the game from there, balance patches every other week, whatever. And then you essentially have this insane arena game. And honestly, I truly believe WoW Arena has the potential to be the best PvP game in existence. Like it has that potential. And yeah, okay, it's great right now. And everyone's like, yeah, Wrath Arena is so fucking good. Like, imagine what it could be. Imagine how good it could be. Imagine all the automated tournament support that they could do. Everyone just like fucking hyped, earning money off the game, play paying WoW tokens to sign up to these tournaments. Everyone fucking learning new meta. Like, just, it, it could have been insane. Even with all the fucking crypto shit that, that is coming in now, right? They could have evolved that, that shit in some way as well, right? It's just perfect for it. Some say WoW ain't new viewer friends. So this is another problem, right? So, and, and yeah, I guess I was leading on to this. So this is what I mean about breaking it onto a separate game. The, like the visuals in WoW are really fucking bad if you don't understand the game. Like it's really hard to see what the fuck is going on, right? And I think to a degree Overwatch had this issue as well, but like say you death are blind. Like you get blinded and your character goes like this. Right, and then you death it and your character does this. You know, it, do it does this. Okay, nice. The guy killed my fucking rat. There's no rats. Whatever. You get my point, right? You let you use death. It's the same, like, animation every time. You get out of the blind. Good times. It's This is so minor and unobvious to anyone, right? So imagine if you have a different animation for deathing a blind. Like, that's super fucking obvious and hype. Now the audience is like, oh my god, something fucking hype just happened. This guy just made some sick outplay. This team is winning more now. Yeah? As opposed to just your regular death. Whoa, you know, this is like if in a 3v3 match, people aren't even going to see that shit. If you make that super obvious in, in your PvP version of the game now, along with other mechanics, whatever, you just add a bun in a bunch of key outplay moments and you make the visuals of them fucking hype. Then this is making it more obvious to people that don't actually play the game at a high level that, okay, this team has done a good thing, they're in the lead now. But compared to right now, if you don't know the game, you're literally watching the health bars and then one guy, guy health bar goes low and you're like, oh shit, the other team's winning, he's nearly dead. That's lit. That's that's literally the extent of them watching the game. So this is like another thing, right? Like spectator client can be vastly improved. Visuals can be vastly Im improved. And this is, is, you know, this is you're working towards making the game more accessible to people that don't really play the game to a point where they can actually get excited about stuff that happens in the game other than somebody dying. I mean, it's too late at this point, right? Like, OK, nice. We have WoW, WoW Wrath Classic and this is like a blessing. But at this point, there's no there's the, it's done. It's over. There's not enough people playing the game still for it to warrant them putting in any kind of infrastructure for PvP and trying to build on it. It's it's done. People are playing other shit now. Up and comers are not playing WoW anymore. They're playing shit like Fortnite. There's too much competition now and too many people have already jumped ship. So it's not financially worth the time it would take for them to invest. Look at just look at how many fucking devs. Not even just for PvP, but just for, for classic in general. Look at how many devs there actually are on that shit. It's I swear it's less than ten. The amount of fucking bugs that were um, identified in the beta that are still in the game is fucking crazy. Like, the reason we haven't got cross-realm arenas and BGs in the game is because uh, they took it out in original classic. They literally ripped it out of the game, and it's hard to put it back in. If they had more devs, it would be in. Like, they want to put it in. It's taking time. There's not enough devs on the game because it's not worth it financially to put more devs on the game. 
with their current business model, at least, where they're basically just trying to cut corners and save costs. Hell, like, it's it should be obvious enough. The fact that they release uh, Dragonflight now, two months after Wrath, is that they're, like, desperate as fuck to get their 2022 fucking cash up. Like, so there's no way they're going to fucking have more devs on Classic than they need. This is why our best hope for WoW Arena is actually, ironically, not even WoW. It's the fucking League MMO. This is our best hope for an arena game to be to reach the potential that WoW always had and never reached. So yeah, that's my TLDR on Wrath versus Retail.